Yo, what's happening, man? It's your boy, Papa Doug. Y'all already know what time it is. Listen, man, did y'all hear what that preacher had to say about what's going on today? Check this out. I'm celebrating 50 years of hip-hop. I hate hip-hop. I think the worst thing to happen to the black community was hip-hop. I'm old enough to remember 50 years. I'm 62. I'm old enough to remember what black folk looked like before hip-hop. Before hip-hop, we pulled our pants up. Before hip-hop, you didn't see a man's drawers walk around in public. Before hip-hop, our women didn't paint, uh, draw all over their bodies, tattoo all over themselves. Before hip-hop, our singers didn't sing songs calling our women beat uh, female dogs, chicken heads, skeezers, and the women didn't call themselves that. Before hip-hop. Praise the Lord. Now, I agree with the preacher. Yeah, hip-hop done destroyed us. I see the effects of hip-hop, but what I don't agree with is every time somebody got something to say, they always want to point fingers at the victim. Let me tell you something, bro. If you can see these children out here rapping about shooting and killing each other, why can't you see the record labels that signed them, that put millions of dollars and put them on the radio, on TV, to talk about shooting and killing our own people, but you want to blame them? Why you want to blame them? Because for us as a group of people, black people, we don't have nothing for these children to do. Nowhere for them children to go. How you gonna, how you gonna blame them? You gonna blame them for turning out $100,000? They think that's some money, but they don't know no better. Now they can go get their mama this, they can do that. You think they finna say no? They, you think they gonna say no to the chain, the jewelry, the clothes and all that? You done lost your mind, I keep trying to tell you. You don't own nothing. Even black preachers don't own their churches. Can't nail black organization, I don't care how many preachers, deacons, you get them all together. They cannot build a church in America without their permission. How is that? You talking about the free world, homie. God put this world here for free. And we got to ask permission from another bitch. They can create a monetary system, but we can't. They can create uh, banks and businesses and we can't. Hospitals, we can't. Man, open your mind, bro. You are a child to this system. Because you got to get permission to do everything. God put earth on uh, the earth and put everything on earth for, for free. Bro, we got to work every 30 days to give our money up every 30 days. We got, to, uh, we got to participate in a system we know flawed. People still black and voting. Come on, man. Make it make sense. See, you got to understand the, the, the hunter and the wolf. You remember the hunter and the wolf story? How you going to blame the wolf for trying to eat? But you ain't going to blame the hunter for putting the trap there. These people own everything. They own what you think. They own what you eat. They own your monetary system. They own how you view the world. We have nothing, bro. And yet you want to point fingers at, oh, I hate hip hop. Oh, I hate this. Bro, you don't own nothing. Churches make millions of dollars a year and we still don't have nowhere for these children to go. The crazy part about it is this. Athletes money, churches money, None of black people's money is made to help uplift their own people. Think about what I just said. Soon as you making millions of dollars and here you come trying to uplift your people, you building schools, you doing this, you know how much red tape you got to go through for them to say, yes, you can do it, but yet God put earth on here for free for all of us. But we got to listen to another bitch. We got to go to another bitch school. We know from the poison our minds and our children. Look what they doing to the children with the rainbow. And you can't do nothing about it. I keep telling you, they're going to sign people like Sexy Red to talk about this, to talk about that, and, and, and get into your churn mind, and ain't nothing you can do about it. Because you don't have the power to do it. You don't have the power to shut it down. How the fuck, every time you say something about them, they can understand the disrespect, and here you come as a rapper or a fucking uh, movie star, you got you to gotta write an apology letter. That's simple simp ass shit. Oh, I'm sorry for this in this community. Man, fuck that. These motherfucking people signing your children to talk about killing and shooting your children. Filming them going to the graves of these people they done shot and, sh and killed. They pissing on these people's graves. Got our children out here doing all this crazy shit and we don't have the power to stop it. Think about what I'm saying. All the influence comes from them. We don't have the power. If we did, we would create our own black Hollywood. Fuck Hollywood, but we'll create our own movie uh, movie companies where we can change the dynamics of how the world see black people but you don't understand what tv is radio is 
You don't understand how that shit get into people's minds and when they sign people like Beyonce and they sign this artist. To do what? To keep us entertained, distracted. You think you, you think they're gonna sign an artist like me? I used to rap about that shit until I know better. I know better now. You think they're gonna sign an artist that's gonna walk in there and talk about uplifting their people? You think they're gonna put millions of dollars behind an artist that's gonna talk about putting these people in a better position? You don't lost your fucking mind. You know how much money they these people make off your ignorance? Why you think the, the jails are filled? Hmm? Make it make sense. You don't lost your mind. You, 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 you don't lost your mind. And this is why you're going to continuously see artists getting signed, talking about shoe, killing, and doing all this crazy shit. Anything positive, they're shutting it down. And if you don't see that, something wrong with you. Something's, something is very, very wrong with you if you don't see what's going on in this world. The powers that be, how they operate. Why the fuck BMF and, 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 uh, and uh, what, what's, what's, what's the other shows? Raising Canaan, New Jack City, just all these shows talk about the same thing. Drugs. Black people gonna kill and, kill and sell drugs to each other. This is how we make money. This is how we knew coming up. Because it wasn't nobody or a group of people that actually showed us different. We saw and mimicked what we saw. If there was another group of people that could paint, paint black people in a different light, oh, black women are this. Black fathers are that. This is what a black family looked like. We could change some things starting from that point. But when you don't see that, all you see is niggas killing niggas. You must understand your brain don't know the difference from what they see from what it sees on TV. Your brain don't know what's real and what's fake. You talk about childhood trauma, nigga, I'm talking about adulthood trauma. Watching these shows. Seeing a bitch head get blowed off. Bro, do you know what that do to you? Your brain can't decipher the difference in what's real and what's fake. But you want to talk about the victims. But you don't want to talk about the motherfuckers who, who's, who's oppressing us all. Who got us all paying bills every 30 days. Who got us paying insurance. Who got us doing all this shit. Oh, you don't see them. But you can see the motherfucking victim, though. What that says about you as a person. Think about what I'm saying, bro. This ain't no color thing. That's the shit that be pissing me off. These children gonna continue to sign to these labels because the people that's signing them, they own everything. They own the influence that these children have in their mind. They own the phones, the, the YouTubes, and the, they own it all. And everything they pushing is to degrade us. What the fuck you think gonna happen? Until we as people, like the Black Panthers, the Black Panthers were the closest ones physically to overthrow the government. They had their own everything. Look what happened to them. If these people really wanted peace, you don't think they would have put money up behind them? Why you think I don't fuck with grant money? Because when you do grant money, all they doing is giving you money to help build their societies up. You can't take that money and liberate your people. You know you can't do that. Stop blaming the victim. Because like I said, if you train a dog to kill and he kill, you want to point fingers at him. That don't make no sense. That's stupid. The hunter and the wolf. When the hunter put blood on the blade and he hid it in the snow and the wolf walked up and licked it and he thought he was eating it. He licked the blade, cut his tongue, not knowing he cut himself, but he keep licking and licking and licking until he kill himself. How the fuck you gonna blame the wolf for trying to eat? Tell me. Huh? How we gonna blame these kids for trying to eat? We don't got nothing for them. Even adults. We ain't got nothing for grown people. Everything you see on fucking social media, man, is degrading. From women to men to children. Food. Come on, bro. Churches make millions of dollars. Black churches. And still, we ain't got nowhere for these children to go. Where they going? I told you, bro. Man, I'll holler at y'all on the next one, bro. I'm pissed off, but at the same time, you know what I'm saying? This is just what it is, man. Fuck it. And like I say, Ubuntu. I'm going to push it till I leave this bitch. And all Ubuntu mean is I am because we are.
I can't move without y'all. Y'all can't move without us. We move together.